Let's do a little review the reviewers where I dig through Apple Podcasts to see what people have said about the podcast and you guys can respond. Does that sound good? Yes, we must uh, let the people's voices be heard. Play away. This is from Goldblum Noises, which I'm assuming is referring to this podcast. Remember when Jeff Goldblum was on and he made, you and he both made a bunch of sexual jazz noises? Uh, I remember it every night. <laughs> <laughs> so then the rest of this is unrelated, but five stars. The title is 11 hours in all caps, one day. And it goes like this. I was just informed by Spotify in my 2020 roundup that I listened to 11 episodes of Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend in one day. If that sounds sad, everyone should also know on my Hinge dating profile, my answer to the prompt, quote, I am weirdly attracted to blank, unquote, is Conan O'Brien. In all seriousness, this podcast was my constant companion this year, especially when I was going through a tough breakup. I love the whole group's dynamic and cannot wait until the day someone on Hinge messaged me saying they love Conan as much as me. Thanks, guys. What a lovely uh, thing to hear. From who is this? Did this person give their name or no? Yeah, Goldblum noises. Well, okay, all right. Then he's. <laughs> That's all I have. Right. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Goldblum noises. That is so nice. Wow, eleven episodes. I wonder what the day. side effects of listening to eleven hours of this uh, well, is for for someone. I wonder if he you know, had uh, any or kind she, of bodily... Oh, well, well he, yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know why I... You know what? I'm going to say it doesn't matter. I don't... I'm unlike you, Sona, who's very sexist uh, <laughs> and all obsessed with gender identities. I don't care. I am very gender fluid uh, and I, I don't care. It's not important to me. Okay. They said weirdly attracted to Conan O'Brien. Now... Uh, this gets complicated. Do you find that little needle in the haystack? But why? That was all compliments. I know. I always find yeah. the tiny little piece of glass in the snow cone. Uh, it's it's <laughs> uh, weirdly attracted to Conan O'Brien. I listen to these now the same way you listen to them. I'm like, what is it he's going to hear that's going to upset him? And I thought it was when the person said, I'm waiting for someone to tell me that they also get the Conan O'Brien thing. But oh, I, no, I, thanks I a lot. Like, I hadn't thought oh, of yeah. like it. I hadn't, even, I hadn't latched onto that. But now, yes, yeah. now it's clear There's to that me one too. that Goldblum <laughs> noises put it out there that I like Conan and has been waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to say me too and has heard nothing. <laughs> Goldblum noises dropped a penny into the I find Conan attractive well and heard no splash. <laughs> no splash. Oh, man. Wow. Well, there's probably a lot more writing on that Hinge profile, you know? It, it, it's not just the Conan line. No, Goldblum no, Noises no. sounds like an incredible person. Uh, regardless of gender, uh, I'm going to say Goldblum Noises sounds like a top-notch uh, human being, and I am just going to focus on the fact that because Goldblum Noises was kind enough to mention me as someone that they found uh, attractive, either physically or a personality, that I'm responsible for no one responding. No. Yes, that's no. what I'm going to. I'm going We're to talking about a person who's listened to, with ads, over 12 hours of this podcast in a day. So you What gotta... does that do to someone? I wonder if, <sighs> if you put this person, Goldblum Noises, through an MRI, would it show up somewhere? Would the doctor say, oh my God, have you been, have you been drinking liquid lead? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? What were you doing? Don't tell me. And then the doctor said, wait a minute, you haven't been listening to 11 straight hours of Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, have you? And the guy or girl says, uh, yeah. Excellent. And then the doctor goes, are you Goldblum noises? <laughs> uh, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> What is that? That's Jeff Goldblum. He always does little, hmm. I, I, I gotta, oh, oh I'm, I'm just curious. How is, mm, Conan. Oh, I thought we were still in the doctor's office. Well, yeah, I did too. Did he come into the doctor's office? Yeah, Goldblum's hiding. He's, whenever you're having a very uh, personal exam in a doctor's office, Jeff Goldblum is always in the closet. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Anyone listening right now, if you've ever had to take your clothes off at a doctor's office and have a very personal exam, and then you hear from behind a wall, yes, that's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Knowing he was there would somehow make me feel better. Me too. I, I can't explain yeah, that. And yeah, me too. I would feel reassured. He's a very nice guy. And if anyone had to be hiding in the closet, 
making weird semi-erotic noises. I prefer to be Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anyway, I, I Goldblum noises. Thank you for that very nice review and uh, very kind of you. Feel free to take me off of your profile if it's harming what? your if it's harming your your life in any way. I don't want to be responsible. You know what I mean. Oh. You could put someone else down as a big influence. She didn't say you were an influence. Oh. Or he. Why are you they doing this? They said they were weirdly attracted. <laughs> I just want to correct Okay, so not an influence. And hey, first of all, if someone's listened to me for 11 hours straight, I've influenced them. Second of all, <laughs> why do you keep interrupting and saying these things that just make me feel like shit? You know what? You're right. I don't know why I'm doing that. It really, I really am piling on and I shouldn't do that. And you're right. And I'm sorry. But yeah, she didn't say, or he didn't say influence. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were weirdly attracted to you. You went and did it again. You just apologized just, for doing it and then did it again. Uh, Listen, just, Sona, I hear things the way the story. I hear things the way I want to hear them to create a better world for myself. It's like people that only listen watch Fox News because they want to have that world reflected back at them and they don't look at anything else. I have certain thoughts. And so what I do when I hear these critiques of the show is I make up what it really meant. And then when you say that's not what they said, what they said was <laughs> no one, they put their, your name in there and no one's biting. <laughs> Thanks, Sona. You're right. You're right. And I'm sorry. 